What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about a very hot topic these days in Battlefield 2042, and that is the topic of cheaters. You've probably heard so many of the content creators making videos about these gank of cheaters who are also content creators and they make YouTube videos. And in some of their videos, apparently they're cheating and people don't know, but some other people found out about this and made it public. I was trying to stay away from all this because it's just some crap that we really don't need and have nothing to do with us getting better in the game as Battlefield players. But I just came across someone in the game chat and they said they've done reporting every single PC gamer and we're talking a full server here. 32 versus 32. Even if 50% of those people were PC players, that takes a lot of commitment. You know, that takes a lot of commitment to go and do that. But if you want to look at it from a serious way and from another perspective, that dude, whoever they are, they just got to be completely pissed and in despair to do anything like that. And I have to tell you, dude, I don't know if you're watching this video or not, but I have to tell you this. I do understand you. It's really frustrating to go against these cheaters and it's really pathetic to pay for a third party application, a wall hack, an aimbot, whatever you want to call it, to come and steal your kills instead of actually getting better at the game, learning some things, maybe tweaking your weapon setup. Instead of all that, you pay for a third party to get your kills. That's pathetic. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about EA anti-cheat. We're going to talk about why is cheating becoming so common nowadays in Battlefield 2042 and even in Battlefield 5 after we actually switched to EA anti-cheat. And we're going to take a look at why these people actually cheat and what's their motivation for that. But before we start the video, I just want to let you know that liking the video is going to really help me and give me something in return. Also, 95% of my viewers are actually not subscribed. And we got to change those numbers, guys. So let's do it. If you're watching the videos, it only takes one click and you're subscribed. So you won't miss out on any future videos. With all that said, guys, let's jump right into the video. So in the past few weeks, after the first content creator was accused of cheating, and apparently rightfully so, I've seen an increase in the numbers of cheaters that I have encountered. And I was really thinking about a connection between these two, and I came to a conclusion. I actually came to a conclusion for this. The average Battlefield player who's not really skilled, because a skilled player would never even, not even a skilled player, an above average player will never rely on a third party cheat to come and get his kills. However, when the average player sees every single one of these content creators going down for cheating one after the other, it might really ignite some question like this in their minds. Why should I not do it when that content creator and this content creator and that dude and this dude is doing it? Why should not? And it's very interesting, but ever since that video came out, that first video that accused one of these dudes for cheating. I don't even know his name. I was f so far away from these videos that I don't even know their names. But when the first video came out, ever since, I'm seeing so many cheaters in my own servers. Like, that is something really odd. And I really needed to think about it this way to come to a conclusion. And that's the only reasonable conclusion that I can come to. Like, these people ask themselves, why should I not cheat when even the content creators are cheating? That's a tough question to answer. But I'm pretty sure people who ask themselves those questions are actually the ones that are really not skilled. Or at least they're not committed to the game. That's the least I can say about them. But what's the role of EA anti-cheat here? Because ever since we've switched to EA anti-cheat, the game became a heaven for cheaters. I've seen some dude in the server playing every single day and every single day, all the players in that server actually report him. And the other day he just comes back and starts killing everyone behind walls, pre-aiming you. That dude is outplaying you every single time. It's just impossible to win a face-to-face -face gunfight against him. And he just comes back the other day, being even better at cheating. So what is EA Anti-Cheat doing? Why aren't the reports actually working? And these questions actually bring us a bigger question. Does DICE really care about cheaters anymore? Or they're completely shifting their focus for the next Battlefield game? Like it or not, the next Battlefield game is going to have the EA anti-cheat. Like, that's a reasonable thing to happen, right? EA anti-cheat would be on the next Battlefield game. If you don't care about 100 people reporting a single player, then what the heck do you care about? That's another question. So not only DICE doesn't care, but some people actually put the blame on crossplay. Just imagine playing without crossplay in Battlefield 2042. Just imagine doing that. 
This game doesn't even have enough players with crossplay, let alone playing without crossplay. These people put the blame on crossplay because they believe that every single PC player is a cheater. Now, let me tell you a fact here. Not every PC player is a cheater and not every console player is clean. We've got cheats for console. And let me tell you guys, cheating on console is not even complicated. Like it's just as complicated as it is on PC. We don't even have enough players, even with crossplay being on. Just imagine PC gamers playing with PC gamers and console players playing with console players. Your matchmaking would take forever. If you have a game with a lot of population, then maybe that makes sense. But for Battlefield 2042, that makes no sense, guys. So instead of hating on PC players, put the blame on DICE. Because people at DICE are the ones responsible for this mess, not PC gamers. As I said before, let me say this again, we as PC gamers are not cheaters. You're right about this, the majority of cheaters are actually PC players. But you can't just put the blame on them for playing on PC when people at DICE are not giving a solitary heck about the state of cheaters in the game. If you want DICE to notice this, instead of putting the blame on any other person, put the blame on DICE. And you're gonna do it rightfully so, because as I said, they are the ones responsible for this mess. It's fine, your anti-cheat is not as efficient as it should be. But we're reporting these players. We are reporting these players and they keep coming back to haunt us, let's say, every single day. Every single day. And since we have a matchmaking system instead of a server browser, unless DICE actually takes action and bans them, they're gonna do the same. There's no server admin, there is nothing. Nothing but DICE. And that's really turning into something frustrating. I know you guys as console players are really frustrated about this. Let me tell you, we are PC gamers and we are also frustrated. We might even be frustrated about your aim assist, but we're not hating on you, you know? It is what it is. The game doesn't have players and we need crossplay. That's it, end of the story. So based on what I said, you guys gotta put the blame where you should put it, on dice. No matter if you're a console player or a PC player, we are Battlefield players and we just want this game and this franchise to be better and better every single day. With all that said, let me know down in the comment section about your experience against cheaters. Uh, let me know if you've experienced anything like my experience, like the number of cheaters getting more and more every single day. Do you think there is a pattern here or a connection between the content creators being accused of cheating and the number of like average cheaters going higher and higher every single week? Let me know all that in the comment section. Let's have a discussion down there and let's make a conclusion out of this video because I really want to know if there is actually a pattern, a connection. Something has to be here because it's like a switch flipped and the cheaters are just coming to hunt us in every single server we go. So do let me know all that in the comment section. Hope you're having a great day and hope you stay away from those cheaters. And until next time, guys, stay cool.